Good morning, Eagle Nation. Today is Thursday, May 7th, 2020, and it's Jersey Day. Although I don't have my jersey on, I am sporting my favorite team. So if you have pictures uh, of you in your jersey or athletic gear of your favorite team, even if it's not the Vikings, you can send it my way or to social media at OLPMN.com. Org. I want to share with you, we're going to go highlight uh, uh, some of our eighth graders again, and Mr. Boss is going to get a, a redo. I'm going to share my screen, and we're going to honor Mr. Boss. Look at that guy. So cute. Owen may be the tallest kid in eighth grade, but his heart is 10 times bigger. Just witness how he treats his sister and family. His love of all sports always makes for a fun morning during the NFL, NBA, and NBL seasons. Skull Vikes. He seems to be the only true fan in eighth grade and can spit out any stats like no other. Owen's athletic skills and academic skills lead him to De La Salle in the fall. I can't wait to see what this 5'10 dude does. Congrats, Mr. Boss. And also, we want to honor Anna Bradburn. Oh, goodness. Look at that baby picture. Look at those cheeks. AKA Edwina, the best advice giver. When she is not showing off her skills on the stage, in the classroom, or on the field, she can be seen trying out the latest TikTok dances, although she'll never admit it. I bet you can't wait to see this. Anna is an avid reader, and once she starts a series, she has to finish it. She is headed to De La Salle, where she plans to play soccer and continue to do amazing things. Well, awesome work, our two eighth graders. Uh, highlights for today. Um, we are so proud of you um, as you will do amazing, amazing work. All right, let's uh, continue announcements. Um, looking out the window today, let's see, it's going to be partly sunny, a little cool with a high of 61 degrees. The saint of the day, Saint Rose Vener Venerini, the death of a fiance can be traumatic although St. Rose responded by joining a convent. That is not where God was calling her, however. She returned home to care for her mother and eventually become a teacher, a career at which she thrived. Rose also gathered others to expand her ministry. This day in history, Germany surrenders unconditionally to the Allies at Reims. On May 7th of 1945, the German High Command in person of Gen General Alfred Jod signs the unconditional surrender of all German forces. Our thought of the day, there is a voice inside of you that whispers all day long. I feel this is right for me, or I know that it is wrong. We all have a conscience, listen to yours. Always ask yourself, is this what my best self looks like? That one question alone will change your entire life. All righty, your favorite joke of the day. What's a tornado's favorite game? What is a tornado's favorite game? Twister. <laughs> you got it. All right, pledge and prayer. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Mary, our Lady of Peace, you show us how to be Christian, how to follow Jesus, and how to hear the word of God and keep it. Help us respond to God as you did. May his power work in us. May the Holy Spirit form Christ in us. And may Jesus' mind, heart, and will be ours. We ask this through Christ our Lord, amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. All right, I'm a peace builder. I pledge to praise people, to give up put downs, to seek wise people, to notice and speak up about hurts I have caused, to right wrongs, and to help others. I will build peace at home, at school, and in my community each day. Well, I hope you all have a tremendous Thursday. Uh, remember, tomorrow is Spirit Wear Friday. So, tomorrow, make sure you have anything OLP on and you can send us pictures and or videos. I love when you send the pictures. Um, it's fun to share those. So keep those coming in. 
I'm really excited today because today we, for Teachers Appreciation Week, we are delivering a surprise to all of our teachers. So I have a road trip ahead of me. I can't wait to do it. So once again, I miss you all. I can't wait to see you again tomorrow. Have an awesome, awesome day.